Hello and welcome to Hammerdrum. Today we return onto the Zinger project right here. It's been a uh, oh, three weeks since I've touched this sewing machine, and although I like it and it's a fun project, you know I had to buy some parts. Um, that took three weeks. So today we have finally gotten our brand new pedal because I'm going to convert it from originally being knee control which is you know it's it's bonkers don't want to do that uh, to pedal control and then would you look at that it's a new electric motor can you focus Roughly there. So this is the new motor right there. Ah, oh, this is so much heavier. Is the old motor. You can quite clearly see that these two are um, well slightly different, but I don't think they are different enough, so it matters. I mean, obviously, this one's probably got more po more power than the old one, and it's pedal actuated, and it's you know easier to control, and it doesn't blow my fuse in the house every time I try to turn it on, which this one unfortunately does. Well, without further ado, I would like to finally mount this onto here and see if I actually get any life from this lovely sewing machine. So I think it's time to get straight into it. We've got the motor mounted. It's uh, actually looking pretty pretty good. I took off that, you know, Chinese uh, aluminium sticker that was on top of the motor and this actually looks pretty good, pretty age correct. I mean everything seems to seems to work fine. Uh, the um, belt that this motor came with, which is this one, was way too short. So this is not usable for me. It's probably meant for a different model of a Zynga machine. But anyways, I just used this little, really, you know, old um, leather or something belt. It's not leather leather. I think it's leather like... It's hard to tell what it is because from one side it feels like leather, but from the other you can see kind of a grainy sort of, you know, sewing, sewing material. Kind of feel to it. I'm not sure what this is, but it's, um, it works. It's probably a hundred years old now, but it works. Anyways, uh, th what, what remains now is just you know plugging it in, seeing what happens. Alrighty, the motor is plugged in. My foot is on the pedal, so let's see what happens when I do this. <sighs> Whoa! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, look at that. I'm going to try to slow-mo this. Ha! This is awesome. I think it's running a bit fast. And to my knowledge, sewing machines should you know, should run a bit slower than this. This is like the bottom. Yeah, this is quite fast, and this is literally maximum. Way too fast. So I'm not sure why this is running so fast. Probably because either uh, I've <laughs> I've looped the machine so well that it's running way too smoothly and not giving enough resistance or that this is meant for a different gear ratio which it probably, probably is. Um, I'll see what I can do about that but honestly I'm, you know, I'm not too worried about this. This is, this is mostly going to be a, um, a well, piece of furniture just to look at but also you know, fix some socks once in a while so I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do with that. Either, either way, right now what I want to do is do something with these dingly dangly cables that go down to the pedal and to the, um, to the, you know, 
the pluggy thingy. Uh, this thing here is the original well, electric box of this um, of this sewing machine. My plan is to just take all the guts outside of here, put these cables through here, and then I'm going to have only a set of cables going out here instead of you know, all this. So we'll see what I can do with that. And in addition, I would like to connect the light um, so I can, you know, so it works. So um, so I'll come back to you guys when I've done some electrical work. Alrighty, welcome back. It has been uh, quite some time since I've ended the clip. I've done quite a bit of electrical work. Uh, as you can see, I've routed the cable inside here to go through here, exit out the original knee control hole, and then it goes down to the pedal and out to the plug. Also, I've mounted the, uh, not mounted, I've um, connected the light in the back of the sewing machine, this one, to the, um, well, motor connector right here so every time we turn the motor on the light turns on as well as you can see right here so, see I think it's pretty neat and surprisingly the bulb sitting in there is the original bulb that I you know I the lamp was you know the bulb was in the lamp when I <laughs> found it which is you know God knows how old but yeah this is uh, you know this is pretty much finished now. I've also painted this cover here with Hammerite. Uh, the only thing missing as of now are three things. The little wheel that's supposed to be, you know, you know this, this little wheel thing that has to be wound with some thread. So the thread goes from underneath because as well, some, some people you might know that a sewing machine threads sews with two threads, right? So there's one for the bottom, one for the top. Another thing, I need to find a needle for the machine. This machine currently has no needle, so it's, well, not able to sew. It just moves. And then, last but not least, I have to sort, let's see if I can zoom in on this, and some focus. There you go. You see this little cog here, actually this is a cog, this is just a wheel. This wheel is supposed to have like a rubber, um, well, o-ring on it. And you can drop it onto the flywheel and then this moves the entire clock mechanism that does something. Well, this is missing, This, you know, it's been rotted, it, it basically just rotted out throughout the years. So we need to find an o-ring that will fit here, will work. So, o-ring. Needle, needle, and the round thingy we need that goes in here. So, I think this will be it for today's episode. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I will obviously try to find some cool stuff while I'm waiting for parts. And uh, yeah, well, if you if you like this episode, go ahead and leave a comment, like, subscribe if you're interested. Um, any questions or help to you know explaining what kind of machine this is? Because I'm still not sure what kind of model of a Zynga this actually is. Is it a 99k, 90 something k? I'm not sure. I'm not that good with sewing machines. So, anyways, thank you for watching, and as always, keep on. Riding the sewing machine. <laughs>